इंट्रोडक्शन यू हैव स्टडीड अर्लियर अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मोशंस हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड व्हाट कॉजेस दीज मोशंस लेट अस रिकॉल सम ऑफ आवर एवरीडे एक्सपीरियंसेस व्हाट डू यू डू टू मेक अ फुटबॉल मूव व्हाट डू यू डू टू मेक अ मूविंग बॉल मूव फास्टर How does a goalkeeper stop a shot at the goal? How do fielders stop the ball hit by a batsman in the game of cricket? You don't have to be a physicist to know what is needed to pull the car shown on the title page out of the snow. You require a push or a pull. If the frustrated motorist can apply enough force the car will move But what's keeping the car stuck in the snow The motorist can use the power of the engine of his car to pull it out but it doesn't happen Is there another force which is required for pulling this car out of the snow The answer is yes This force is the force of friction. It seems so that there is not enough friction between the tires and the snow. Hence there is no motion. When you push or pull an object, you exert a force on it. You exert a force when you throw or kick a ball. In these examples, the word force is associated with the result of muscular activity. and some change in the state of motion of an object forces do not always cause motion they may change the shape of the body too in this chapter we will understand the basic nature of force and of course a little about friction